In today's video, I will take you with me on a luxury flight on Qatar Airways Airbus A380 in first class. After reviewing Emirates First Class a while back, I'm excited to see what this experience is like. Let's get to the airport in Bangkok, check in and start this exciting journey to Doha. Enjoy. My journey started with a 40 minute taxi ride from the center of Bangkok all the way to Bangkok International Airport. I arrived just in time to get a shot of the star of the day show, the Airbus A380. With my boarding pass in hand, I was ready to board this beautiful aircraft and see what it's like to fly on Qatar Airways in first class. In proper first class manner I was handed a glass of rosé champagne, setting the tone for a journey filled with luxury and sophistication. As this flight is scheduled to be an all night flight, the stewardess also offered a pyjama to all first class passengers. M or large? <laughs> if you say it's M, I it's just take it. you're not fat at all. So this one is a menu tiki and a menu card and yeah. our dining list, we will come back to take our French shop. To enhance your journey, Qatar Airways offers their signature Dine on Demand a la carte menu. And when looking at it, I did not regret skipping the lounge ahead of this flight. Let's get buckled up, finish the glass of champagne and get ready for the departure, as the safety video was about to begin. It's not all too long before we reach our cruising altitude, where I immediately started to explore everything the seat has on offer. On the left hand side, I was able to find noise cancelling headphones and an access voucher for the in-flight Wi-Fi. Spoiler alert, the Wi-Fi did not work at all. Nevertheless, the IFE located in front of me worked perfectly fine, I was finally able to watch the new Avatar movie. But I'm not gonna lie, when I'm booked onto a first class flight, I'm only here for the outstanding service. So let's get this party started with my favorite appetizer, caviar with batik style salmon. A few moments later I kindly asked the crew to hold back the main course, as I also wanted to try out the lobster and crab appetizer. Paired with another glass of the remarkable champagne, my second starter made the beginning of this journey even better. Last to be served was the main course. After being slightly disappointed with the beef served on Emirates, I was eager to see what Qatar Airways is capable of providing on this flight. Therefore, I opted for the grain-fed beef rib, served along with rice, soya egg, pickled cabbage and a five-spice stew. With my seat already half declined throughout the meal service, I only had three more things I wanted to see before going to bed. First up was the basic amenity kit that offered everything you would expect on a flight like this. But what really separates first class from business class and the A380 from all other aircraft is the amount of space that is available for things like the lavatory.
the pure size of the bathroom exceeded everything I've seen in my life. And I've never changed so easily into a pyjama on a flight like this. The only thing missing now to complete my bucket list? Of course, a drink at the Upper Deck Cocktail Bar. Once I returned to my seat, the cabin crew placed a custom-made seat cover, an extra pillow and a blanket onto the seat, turning it into a comfortable bed. To my surprise, Qatar Airways did not offer a single breakfast option on this flight. But somehow I came up with the idea of ordering more caviar. After receiving a more or less surprised look by the cabin crew, they happily went back to the kitchen and served one final round of caviar. With this journey coming to an end, it is time to look back on this 8 hour flight on Qatar Airways and see what the latest first class cabin had to offer. With the A380 being used by Qatar Airways, 2 Luxury has finally returned to the skies. From the moment I stepped into the cabin, I was enveloped in an atmosphere of refined elegance and unparalleled comfort. The spaciousness of the seating area immediately caught my attention. The only thing missing is a sliding door that separates you from all other passengers in first class. For me personally, the dining experience on this flight was outstanding. But it's not just the food itself that makes the dining experience aboard Qatar Airways in first class so memorable. It's impeccable service and attention to detail that elevate the experience. Whether you want to have two appetizers or caviar for breakfast, everything seems to be possible on Qatar Airways. To me, this flight goes down as one of the best flights of my life and I look forward to many more flights on Qatar Airways. But for now, I'd like to thank you for following me on the special journey from Bangkok to Doha and I hope to welcome you again in one of my upcoming videos.